you know, in my past 16, 17 years career, uh, working as a content career, I have never, ever fallen for scammers. I was a bit what? You know it's all about the middle parting, but I always find myself so like flipping to the side. Um, I don't know, it just looks so symmetrical on me that it needs to be slightly off center at least. Just waiting for Archie to finish work and we're just gonna go out for dinner. I'm getting a phone call from an agent of one of my absolute favorite motivational speakers. I adore her. She is such a force of nature and I couldn't believe it when, you know, her representative reached out and asked for me to be a guest on her podcast because I was like, really? And that moment, I literally just thought just even them asking is enough. I haven't done any public speaking aside from like my little camera and my safe little zone. I have not done any public speaking in the past four years. And I spoke to a few friends about it and they were like, you should totally do it. And I'm like, no, like four or five, six years ago, Lindy would have been, oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Um, but like Lindy now, I, I don't know. One of my good friends, like she made a really good point. She was like, blank doesn't want Lindy from four years ago. She wants present Lindy. And like at that point, like I didn't really have like a comeback to that. I still have another 20 minutes before I have to jump onto the Zoom call. Um, but yeah, I have went ahead and processed more of your orders. Um, do you remember a few days ago I was talking to you guys and I said one of my absolute heroes representatives reached out and said she wanted me to be a guest speaker for her podcast and when I replied back I was like oh you know you're very kind thank you so much and basically I was just giving them reasons why I wouldn't be a good fit. I told them I basically haven't done any public speaking in years. The podcast would revolve around life of an artist. I was just telling them my journey as an artist is relatively new. Um, and then, you know, they responded back, no, you know, we still want you. Even though I really didn't want to, like it made me feel sick. I felt like I should at least take the phone call and see how I felt, which was what I did. So they said they wanted a Zoom call and they would have preferred it from my laptop. That is probably warning one. You see where this is going, right? And it's gonna be very, very embarrassing. So don't laugh. Actually, you can laugh. You know, in my past 16, 17 years career, uh, working as a content career, I have never, ever fallen for scammers. When he spoke, like obviously there was an accent, but I thought, mm, you know, there's nothing wrong about that. Oh, by the way, the person that I was talking about, I can say it now, right? I'm not gonna be a guest speaker for anyone but basically my hero is Mel Robbins. And I thought, oh, you know, her representative, his name was Dom. And I thought, oh, you know, Dom has an accent, but you know, nothing wrong about that. Nothing wrong about being bilingual. But he was constantly pushing for me to share my screen. And he was saying that the interview, the podcast would be done through Facebook and it's important that you allow integration and he's going to show me how to do it, log into my Facebook, sh share my screen. And I was just thinking, mm. as he was talking, <laughs> I decided to go back to his email and check. I normally do better than this, but yeah, I checked the email and it was da 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 at gmail.com. <laughs> I'm going to waste this guy's time. So I thought, oh, you know, I'm on this phone call anyways. And I was just like, I'm really sorry. I don't think I'm a good fit. I don't feel like I can do it. Mel Robbins never even asked. It's all good. He didn't get to scam me. And you know, I actually felt a lot of relief knowing that I didn't have anything that I needed to, to decide. I still really appreciate that quote my friend said to me where she was like, blank didn't want Lindy from X amount years ago, you know, blank wants and appreciate present Lindy. Cause I have moments where I feel like, you know, if only RG got the Lindy from so and so years ago, where she wasn't like so traumatized and like so hurt. But the truth of the matter is, RG likes present Lindy. RG wants present Lindy. I don't make beauty content at all. For those where my content no longer serves them, they've moved on, but you know, you guys have stuck around. We accept present 
Lindy. At the ones that matter, they just love every version of you, like your past, your present, your future. I ended up wasting Dom's time as he did mine. Shame on you, Dom, for messing with people's dreams. Shame on you and jokes on you. Do better, Dom. And I will try to do better too. <laughs> the song like my heart will go on they call it the hot dog song because what does it go like Isaac I believe that the hot dogs go on is that you need glasses you look so handsome and smart I want glasses I'm sure you will need them one day but right now your eyes are fine so um, off photo day today so I did her hair so yeah this um, I asked you guys to share a piece of advice you would give to women who are in their 20s a lot of advice you guys have been giving have been amazing so I just want to like share here with your responses so somebody wrote beware of early red flags I could not agree anymore very often you know the red flags you choose to ignore in the beginning ends up being very big core problems you'll have in relationships um, the only person you need approval from is yourself. Trying to get it from others is pointless and tiring. Cannot agree more. Forgive yourself. That's a really great one because we're only human after all. And you have to remember, you know, we most likely did the best that we could based on what we knew. We're human. We're not made of steel and we're not meant to be infallible. Um, what matters is that we're always learning and growing from it. Trust the process. Um, you can never fix a man. You can encourage someone. You can give them lots of support and love. You know, these are all great things, but it's like you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't force a horse to drink. Check your breasts regularly. Um, start the things you're afraid to start. Don't let insecurities hold you back. Love yourself and don't be afraid to seek therapy if you need it. Going through life is hard. Don't rush life. Enjoy being young and carefree. Life is too short to keep people who don't respect your boundaries. Love yourself first. Don't waste your time on boys. A real man will know your worth. Trust the universe. Challenges were put on your path to help you grow and change paths. Wow. It gets better. What are you talking about? Life advice. Always put in that little bit of effort for any of your goals. Baby mm -hmm. steps add up. Okay. Sometimes it's not about those big giant steps. It is those little baby steps that makes it more possible. So just focus on one step ahead of another. Don't worry about turning 30. 30s are even better than your 20s. Turn your 30s? Mm-hmm. Ayla, do you have any advice you, you can give to women? Don't have babies. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> uh, last week the kids had their um, teacher parent consults and I always look forward to them because it's just always thankfully been a very positive experience. The kids are doing great at school, they seem happy, they've got good friends. Obviously like I've always known that numbers has always been I Isaac's uh, strength. But, you know, uh, last week when I was talking to his teacher, at, she basically told me that she's been teaching at the school for almost 30 years. And she says she's never come across a student quite like Isaac um, at a math mathematical level. Yeah, I've always known Isaac was good at numbers just because, like, you know, his daddy's good at numbers and his grandfather is supposed to be really good at numbers. But I think it wasn't really until last week 
I understood like the full extent like it makes me so chuffed and you know I was saying to the teacher like it, it's not from me <laughs> like a lot of times when he's done with his homework and I have to proofread I use my calculator and even when I'm using my calculator I'm just scratching my head like numbers has never been my thing um Ayla is, is fine she kind of dread the days when her homework gets a bit trickier because we're just gonna be like ah. so I shared the advice um you guys would give to 20 year olds uh, that advice has helped so many people out there and they're just so appreciative of it and yeah I just I really do love our community I do feel like we're like it's like a hidden gems of the interweb i love us